Hi, happy Halloween. It's Mike D. Uh, I'm going to tell you about a retro 70s Halloween. Uh, my mom used to take out the family to a, like a farmer's market and get a nice, you know, she taught us like a round or an oval pumpkin, a nice shape for a face, you know. And then, um, so what you do is you bring home your pumpkin and you carve off the top there and get a nice clean uh, cut remove all all the guts and the innards of the pumpkin or we call it goop when we were kids and then you take a bowl of water and you put the seeds and all the goop it's all you know stuck together you put it in the water and the seeds float to the top and then you take all of the seeds out and you put them in a pan and you spread them out and toss it with good olive oil as you see there and some nice sea salt uh, nice and lightly and then you put it in the oven low and slow like real low like the temperature could be 150 or 180 right around there very low for about 15 or 20 minutes and keep watch on it keep an eye on it until it's nice and dry and toasty and then take it out to to your liking and uh, if you have a healthy snack with a lot of fiber uh, that's uh, real good for you with um, pumpkin seeds you can snack on during uh, the Halloween time and the other thing we did back in the day we did lots of arts and crafts before social media was we would take an orange and um, get some cloves and put cloves all around the orange like in a pattern uh, it could be a cross or a circle or whatever and then uh, get a little bit of twine and uh, roll it up and uh, hang it from your kitchen on a piece of twine and it's a beautiful fragrance it's orange and um, clove together is a very fall holiday fragrance and um, cloves are very good for you they're antiviral um, as far as the scent goes um, they were used hundreds of years ago to ward off illnesses uh, in kitchens and uh, around sick people and it's a fragrance called thieves you can find thieves if you look into uh, essential oils that's what they're talking about uh, cloves is very powerful antiviral, um, anti-inflammatory. So uh, it's good to have in the fall and the cold winter. So we would hang the orange uh, cloves up. And um, I remember, like, I, I grew up in the hills of Los Angeles, but we had this big, scary canyon with not many streetlights. It was pretty dark, and um, my friends and I would get these big pillowcases, and we would go off on an adventure, and... Uh, try to get as much free candy as we could and, and go. I, I just remember going up and down these winding, curving streets and the trees were like these big shadowy monsters, you know, and um, we would venture through these dark houses and some only had like one porch light on. It's like, do we go up there or not? Are they going to give us candy or are they going to abduct us inside and we will be eaten up by monsters i mean i don't know we're just kids and it was kind of scary we, we would dare each other and there were like creepy little mansions in the hills and uh we would have to go through a dark brush and up to these scary you know sidewalks and trick or treat <laughs> the door would creak open and you know it might be kind of a um, reclusive homeowner and you know hopefully they'd have some candy or they would just say go away or something like that sometimes adults could be kind of gruff in the 70s toward kids um so anyway um that was uh all the fun we would try to push it as late as we could at like 9 30 or 10 o'clock get as much free candy as possible and then you go to school the next day and you trade all the bad stuff that you don't like like if you don't like razzles or if you do like Reese's peanut butter cups or if you like almond joy but you don't like mounds I mean you trade get rid of it pass it along get the good stuff you know negotiate right business 101 that's where I learned it 
play hardball, play tough. Um, so also like, uh, you know, I would, we would, uh, cable TV was just coming in in the late seventies. Like it was called on TV or HBO, very just starting to play movies. So my parents might let us watch an R rated scary movie and Halloween came out in 78 and that was a well done, low budget, chilling, scary movie. And I saw it just last night. It holds up. It's got a lot of tension and it's really creepy, really chilling. I, I recommend Halloween. And um, Jamie Lee Curtis became the scream queen at that time. And she went on to make a terror train, which I highly recommend. That's about a bunch of medical students on a scary train on Halloween night and with a magician and very creepy movie. <laughs> I recommend Terror Train. Um, she did Prom Night. Uh, she did a bunch of them. Uh, and I also saw this Halloween, American Werewolf in London. And I would recommend that one, too. That's a great one with um, just uh, great rock music and kind of hip and funny and uh, very stylish movie. So... Um, those are the ones I would recommend. American Werewolf in London, Terror Train, Halloween, maybe like a real kind of hard to find creepy low budget one like Fun House, uh, My Bloody Valentine. <laughs> I mean, those are the ones I remember from uh, my day growing up. Um, so anyway, um, just a happy Halloween to all of you. Just enjoy the holidays and... Um, I'm Mike D. Check out my shop at downpeppertreelane.com. I have jewelry, collectibles, fun stuff, and uh, carve a pumpkin. Take care.